It's 3 a.m. and your adorable little one suddenly turns into a non-stop crying machine. Welcome to the world of baby colic, where unpredictability reigns supreme. But fear not, because today we're diving deep into the tumultuous seas of colic, armed with traditional wisdom and modern science. And wait until you hear about a Caribbean remedy so simple, yet so effective, that it might just be the answer you've been searching for. So what exactly is baby colic? Picture this, a perfectly healthy baby, under three months old, crying for more than three hours a day, more than three days a week, for more than three weeks. Sounds exhausting, right? That's because it is. Colic is a mysterious condition that has puzzled parents and doctors alike for ages. Historically, people believed colic was caused by internal obstructions. Today, we know it's not that simple. But don't worry, later in this video, we'll reveal how our Caribbean ancestors tackle this perplexing problem, and you'll be surprised to learn how their methods align with contemporary research. Now, let's break down the science behind colic. Babies cry for various reasons, hunger, discomfort, or just needing a cuddle. But colic? That's a different ball game. Researchers speculate it could be due to digestive issues, an imbalance in gut bacteria, or even sensory overload. Fascinating, right? And while we're on the topic, let's bust some myths. No, colic isn't caused by bad parenting, and it doesn't mean your baby will be fussy forever. These are just old wives' tales with no scientific backing. Moving on to the practical side of things. How do you soothe the colicky baby? The key is patience and a variety of strategies. Rocking, swaddling, and gentle shushing can work wonders. And here's where our Caribbean twist comes in. A gentle tummy massage with soothing herbal oils, a remedy passed down through generations. Intrigued? You should be. But remember, what works for one baby might not work for another. It's all about finding what soothes your baby best. But let's address the elephant in the room. Managing colic is tough, not just for the baby, but for you too. It's a roller coaster of sleepless nights and stressful days. But here's the good news. This phase is temporary. Now for that curiosity gap we mentioned earlier, Caribbean parents have long used a blend of chamomile and lemongrass tea to soothe colicky babies. And guess what? Recent studies suggest that chamomile can indeed help in reducing colic symptoms. Old wisdom meets new research. A perfect example of traditional knowledge being validated by science. In conclusion, dealing with baby colic is a journey, one that requires a mix of patience, love, and a bit of trial and error. Remember, every baby is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. So try out these tips, mix in some of your own, and find the perfect recipe to soothe your little one. And don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below. Your story could be the beacon of hope for a fellow parent navigating the stormy seas of baby colic. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more insights into baby care with a Caribbean flair. We have a treasure trove of tips, stories, and remedies just waiting to be shared. And for those who want to dive deeper, we've got additional resources and a follow-up Q&A video in the pipeline, addressing your questions and comments. So there you have it, your guide to navigating the challenging but oh so rewarding journey of parenthood with a little help from our Caribbean heritage. Here's to happier babies and more peaceful nights for everyone.